using the psychedelic DMT to treat substance abuse addiction problems, some promising research right now. Maybe traditional approaches are working and we need a non-traditional approach. So uh, let's get into it. Entheon Biomedical Corp, ENTBF, trading at roughly 0.29. Very interesting small cap company. Operates as a biotechnology research and development company. The company focuses on development and commercializing DMT-based psychedelic therapeutic products for treating addiction and substance use disorders. I'm passionate about this space. I do have friends that suffer from substance abuse. I'm always giving them vitamin and herb tips and doing a lot of reading on this area. So, Entheon biomedical services clients worldwide take a look at this vertical for the opportunity take a look at the, this chart overdose annually 166,000, and that's going up look at the fentanyl coming into the united states global cost of mental disorders 16 trillion with the t so using psychedelic medicines to help treat addiction who would have thought um, but there's some good empirical data behind this. This is not usually in my wheelhouse, folks. We have a large drug addicted population and we have to discuss ways to help people. I know people, like I said, that this suffer and they're struggling with addiction. And this is, this is very interesting research. And I've been following this research in DMT uh, and maybe it might help. Also, it might be good for you if you're an investor. And that's what I'm looking at as well. So I think this is an under the radar small cap company. I think uh, they're in a unique position to challenge the general narrative out there and with regards to the expectations around addiction and recovery. So bottom line, a leveraging emergency psychedelic drug discovery and biometric technology, uh, EBTBF is pioneering, uh, I think, and leading edge addiction recovery solution not a lot of solutions out there right now that harness the therapeutic potential of patient-centric psychedelic medicine to remedy uh, the underlying causes of substance uh, use disorder. So they're primarily focusing on the powerful DMT molecule. Um, you know, the company, you know, exists to invert the addiction recovery uh ratio, you know, turning the untreatable cases and loss caused from the norm uh, to the exception. So if you look at the numbers, they're pretty staggering in, in a time where roughly 21.2 million Americans suffer from substance abuse disorder or approximately one in 10, only 11% of these patients receive uh, the care they needed. So according to the politicized CDC, there were an estimated 101,000 overdose deaths in the United States between May 2020 and April 2021. And I will tell you that's going to go up big time with the fentanyl crisis that we have in the United States. Take a look at that. Did a video on that. And they're startling numbers and show that the current method of recovery is simply not enough. I think this company has huge upside potential. Companies like, uh, you know, ENTBF, uh, are, are using non-traditional forms. Maybe we do need that non-traditional forms of recovery focusing primary on the powerful DMT molecule. So DMT, I've known about this for a while, never tried it, I know a lot of podcasters talk about it. DMT is unique among hallucinogens in that it is androgynous in the, the human body and has been clinically validated as being safe for human consumption. Uh, in this day and age, it is exciting to see um, the potential psychedelics might help a myriad of um, mental health disorders, including addiction. So I look at the empirical data, it's in clinical trials. It's interesting. So DMT, it's the most powerful of all psychedelics. Uh, it's well tolerated with few adverse effects. Pure DMT is probably, from the research that I read, the ideal molecule for advancing and sustaining new models of psychedelic assisted therapy. DMT is a naturally occurring uh, psychoactive compound that uh, is androgynous to the humans. It is different than um, 
other psychedelics as it has a short duration of experience and can be tailored for specific therapeutic usage. So DMT, it's a psychoactive agent in Ashana. It's a traditional hallucinogenic tea that has been used by, you know, for hundreds of years by indigenous groups. So it's got a long track record. It, it's used the, for healing purposes and has been studied for over half a century by Western medicine and the scientific community. So, you know, Entheon Biomedical uh, primarily focuses on using the DMT molecule. Uh, that's, their, that's their baby uh, for addiction recovery patients to help remedy the underlying neurological and emotional mechanisms of addiction. Um, so I think it's even more exciting, you know, that they provided an update on their clinical and preclinical DMT programs. Uh, you know, the, the clinical programs will evaluate the, this is from my pharma days, you know, the, the pharmacokinetics, the pharmodynamics and the safety, the efficacy of target control, you know, intra, venous infusion of DMT uh, in a, a population of healthy smokers. So the 2020 research and market report, this is key, projected that the, the psychedelic drug market could grow to a value of close to 11 billion by 2027 from about 5 billion uh, in 2020. Uh, you know, making the uh, an compound's annual growth rate of more than 12%, the potential of investing in the psychedelic market is unstoppable in growth. From the data, the market data estimates that the drug, alcohol, and other addiction treatment industry will be worth roughly $42 billion this year. Uh, moderate but steady growth, roughly 5.2% annual growth in revenue, is forecasted through 2025, reaching $53 billion. So substances, substances known as hallucinogens, psychedelics, and, you know, have been used, uh, you know, for thousands of years. However, after promising uses in the, the 50s, when they were doing studies in the 60s, uh, they were largely prohibited in medical treatment and human research starting in the 70s as part of the fallout, as we all know, from the, uh, the war on drugs, the failed war on drugs. So nonetheless, there are a growing number of studies which suggest that these substances are very effective in the treatment and addiction. Um, you know, like I said, you know, roughly one in 10 Americans currently suffer from some kind of substance abuse and only 11% of those that seek treatment to get the care, you know, they so desperately need and deserve. All percentages that seek treatment uh, on top of, you know, the already startling statistics as we went through Drug overdoses have become the number one cause of injury-related death in the United States, killing an average of 44,000 people every year, uh, according to um, Medscape. So substance abuse and mental health service administration found that as many as 90% of people who need drug rehab, um, they don't receive it. They don't receive it. Traditional, the traditional approaches, not working. Traditional rehabilitations often, you know, fails to help patients from relapsing and many treatment centers do not follow up with patients. Have a nice day. You know, so any statistics they could provide could be, in my opinion, from the research misleading. Uh, psychedelics have shown therapeutic benefits in disorders such as um, depression, uh, addiction, PTSD, uh, these are, uh, you know, you know, disorders in which negative thoughts are reiterated over and over again and often get no relief and can be treatment resistant. So I think, uh, from the empirical data, the progress they're making on the studies, uh, and you know, Hey, like I said, traditional approaches aren't working. I've known people for years that have struggled with this. And, you know, whether there's an addiction gene and all that good stuff, read about that. But this is an interesting compound and people are talking about it. I've known about it for years, never tried it. Know people that have and uh, enjoyed the experience. 
But the treatment side of it, using it to treat addiction, substance abuse is very promising. And I think from an investor perspective, it looks really promising, uh, the future growth in this vertical. So take a look at it. It's an interesting segment and maybe it will help some people. Take care.